Hey everybody, this is Carl Elwein. How are you doing? All right, I'm going to use this motor here, ERE number 93. It's a turbo motor, but it's getting ready to go to the dyno. I always uh, dyno them with, with a carburetor manifold distributor in the back. I'm going to take the opportunity to show how to get this thing installed and know exactly where timing is. I know there's a lot of videos out on the net. Uh, I've learned from a lot of them, you know, because uh, EFI, right? Who needs a distributor? Well, there's a lot of people that use these things. So I'm going to show you my method. It's going to be sort of a, uh, just a rehash of what's out there. But hopefully you'll learn a little bit of something because it took me ages to really figure this out. Hey guys. All right, first of all, let me explain what uh, this distributor has to do while it goes down in the back of the motor. I've got a mock-up cam here, and let's say this is in the engine. I got a distributor. I have an oil pump uh, drive shaft. So the the um, drive here has to mesh with the oil pump. So it, it can only go one way. So when this sucker is going down, first of all, it has to mesh with the gears here and at the same time mesh with the drive shaft. It could be, you could be trying to set it down. It meshes with the gears, but it hits the drive shaft and it doesn't go all the way down. All right, change the scenery for given the summary steps. Four steps I'm going to describe on putting the small block Chevy distributor in the back of your small block Chevy. First step, mark the spark plug number one on the cap and on the body number two will be put the distributor in the back of the motor set it down in there it won't go all the way in number three will be go to the crank turn the crank until the cam gears and the distributor gear mesh turn it some more until the oil pump drive shaft and the distributor gear mesh it'll set down completely flush Number four, go back to the crankshaft and set the uh, crankshaft timing at exactly where you want before top dead center. Go back to the distributor, take the cap off, move the body exactly in line with that rotor, put the cap on, and you're done. I like to mark the cap to the body and know where that goes on and what what spark plug I'm going to call number one. Look, you got the distributor. You have no idea where the crankshaft position is. That's why I want to... You set it there. Now, it, what it needs to do is mesh with the cam gears and then align with that oil pump drive shaft. So I just spin it for... I just turn the crank to, till it falls. Okay, she just fell in there. There's my mark, right? That's going to be number one spark plug. So I'm going to roll that sucker over to here, line it up with this rotor. But not yet. Next step is to get our timing at the compression stroke. Now we need to get number one piston on the compression stroke and the timing before top dead center that we want. I'm going to set this at 35 degrees before top dead center. You already know, one way to know when the compression stroke is, is to feel out the spark plug, number one. If it's pushing out, it's on the compression stroke. It's sucking in right now, okay? Let's keep turning then, till we get a push out. There's our push out. Okay, so... I'm going to roll up right up to 35 degrees. Take the valve covers off. Notice they're both in the closed position, so that is compression. The crankshaft's at 35 degrees before top dead center. This then number one spark plug needs to be lined up, lined up with this rotor. So the mark is where here is the mark. Let's roll this till it lines up by eyeball. Get this 
the body tightened down. We already made our mark on the rotor for this spot here. That's number one spark plug. That's it right there. It's number one spark plug. We'll fire the rotors right there at 35 degrees before top dead center. All right, to the bonus content. Let's say you want to remove this old distributor, put a new distributor in, the engine's in the car. Really, it helps to have the crankshaft at top dead center, compression stroke, piston number one. It helps, but what'll happen is this one will come out, the new one will go in, and it won't exactly mesh up exactly with the rotor. You might have to turn the crank to get it to fall down in. I don't know, That's that usually happens, so plan for that. But just make sure things are marked. So get the cap off. I have this at top dead center compression stroke. So note where the rotor is. It's going to help and just sort of remark it. No need, just mark it on the distributor. Watch when the distributor comes out, the rotor will go counterclockwise. Unmeshing, oh. Watch when the rotor comes out, it'll go counterclockwise. That's where you want to try to match your new distributor into that position. But if it doesn't fall in, no biggie. All right, so the new distributor needs to match. So, rotor, number one will go right here, okay, let's mark that. Right here, rotor needs to go right there. But it starts off a little counterclockwise. That's where we need number one to be though. Maybe not now, but at some point. Let's get this guy down in there. All right, it, it slid right in. That usually doesn't happen. You can line the, the body up with the rotor, put the cap on, you're done. All right, this is Carl at Elwine Engines. Please like and please subscribe and please share. Take care. This is a uh, low compression blower motor. This is a... Hey everybody, Carl here. I'm gonna take the opportunity to, I'm gonna take the opportunity to show you. Hey everybody, Carl here. Today it's a tech tips. Hey, how's it going? Did you bring my other, uh... oh, okay. All right, take care, Andre. Thank mm -hmm. you.